ISIS hacks CENTCOM, and you're next. I'm Scott Schober, and you're watching your two-minute cybersecurity briefing. On Monday, January 12th, the official Twitter account and YouTube channel for U.S. Central Command, or CENTCOM, were hacked by ISIS supporters. Pro-ISIS propaganda appeared on at CENTCOM Twitter homepage, warning, American soldiers, we are coming. Watch your back, ISIS. At Cyber Caliphate's account is currently suspended, but claims to have hacked the U.S. Central Command Twitter account. Besides the typical threats, there were links to documents that appeared to be confidential files stolen from American military computers. One of the tweets was a list of U.S. military personnel, including a phone number listed as belonging to the former general of the former chief of both CENTCOM and the National Security Agency. By all accounts, terrorist groups like ISIS, as well as hacktivist groups like Anonymous, are waging a successful war against the powers that be. This might not directly affect your average citizen or small business, but the methods they use to wage war all come back to best security practices that we all need to follow. Here are a set of tips to follow that apply to Twitter as well as any password protected account on the internet you would like to keep private. Number one, use strong passwords to prevent being the victim of hacks. Twitter encourages a minimum of 10 characters, but longer is better. I recommend 15 characters minimum using upper, lower, case, numbers, and symbols. Do not use common dictionary words and do not reuse passwords across multiple websites. Number two, never use personal information such as phone numbers or birthdays. And number three, use login verification, also called two-step authentication, wherever available. This additional step can be annoying, but is another layer of security protection. For many more tips like these, subscribe to our weekly video two-minute cybersecurity briefing podcast on iTunes or YouTube. Stay safe.